And I'm very pleased to have with us on the program right now the governor of the great state of Idaho, uh, Governor C.L. Butch Otter. And, uh, Governor, thank you so much for your time tonight, sir. Well, thank you, and thanks for the opportunity to tell Idaho's story. You bet. Uh, And I know that you've actually weighed in on this. You've sent a letter to the Secretary of the Interior uh, asking him to to look into uh, the charges against Jeremy Hill. What can you tell us about this story? Well, uh, after Mr. Hill uh, shot the bear in defense of his family and defense of his private property, uh, he followed the law and reported it to the Idaho Fish and Game. Idaho Fish and Game was there within a couple of hours, did an investigation, uh, and then as they're required to do because it was uh, a grizzly bear on the endangered species list, uh, they then notified the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. And uh, the Idaho Fish and Game said justifiable take. Uh, you were defending your kids. You were defending your property. Basically, that's what they said. And uh, But the U.S. Fish and Wildlife, when they came in and investigated it, they decided uh, to press charges against Mr. Hill for an illegal take on an endangered species. So once again, here we are in the middle of this fight between what is right and uh, and the Endangered Species Act. And, you know, one of the flaws in that Endangered Species Act is that we put a premium uh, uh, in, in, in the uh, act uh, on protecting species at the expense of everything else, in human, including human life. Well, that's exactly right. Uh, you know, we were talking about this on last night's program, and the number of listeners who said, "Look, I don't care how endangered a species is, if it's protect, you know, if it's coming after my kids or my family, yeah, it is endangered because I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to put it down." Uh, and and you know, when you when you say putting the animal above the people. I mean, what was Mr. Hill supposed to do? Was he supposed to, well, I guess, you know, we're going to have to sacrifice one of the kids because, uh, you know, Grizzly's got to eat. I, I mean, I, I don't get this mentality. What, what does the federal government think Mr. Hill should have done? Well, you know, that's the $64 question. And, of course, that's why Mr. Hill, when he went to court uh, last Wednesday on August 24th in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, he's from Port Hill, Idaho, uh, he pleaded not guilty. And in fact, the prosecutor uh, for the county indicated uh, he as well thought that it was a justifiable take. So in Idaho, we strongly support the right of individuals to defend themselves and and others in situations like this. And uh, I just believe that Mr. Hill uh, is is going to find uh, that he's in the right here, and I think the people of Idaho are going to stand behind him. I hope so. I mean, I, I've just been amazed by this. Everybody well, who, from... Who wouldn't do the same thing? You know, you asked that question just a minute ago. But, yeah. you know, put yourself in that man's place. And, you know, he has six children. I think his oldest is 16 and his youngest is uh, less than a year old. And, uh, you know, they live kind of out in the rural area. And here these bears show up. And, of course, the, the bears uh, were, were uh as I recall, uh, reading uh, reading some of the stuff, the, the Bears were actually after his children's 4-H project. Mm-hmm. And, and listen to this for the Idaho community. Uh, that next weekend, uh, they went to the county fair, and uh, that pig that the bear was after, which was one of his children's 4-H project, brought $19,000. Some pig. Well, wow. uh, I'll tell you what they were. All, everybody was lining up to help Mr. Hill and his family with the, with the legal costs of defending himself, his family, and his private property from the Endangered Species Act. That is, you know, that that does say a, a great deal about the uh, the people of Idaho uh, who are standing with Mr. Hill. And again, I mean, everybody from the Boundary County prosecutor to the local county commissioners to you. Uh, to members of uh, Idaho's congressional delegation. I mean, it seems everybody, with the exception, apparently, of the uh, the prosecutors, the federal prosecutors who are going after Mr. Hill, uh, think that this is a, a, a clear-cut case of defense of uh, uh, a life and property. Well, I, absolutely. I think everyone is in agreement on that. There, you know, there's no question, as I said in my letter, there's no question that Mr. Hill shot the uh, bear uh, but what was the reason for it? This is a typical example of why we have to clean up the Endangered Species Act and get it back on track. Uh, you know, when we put a premium on species and we put a premium on everything else, 
accept human life and uh, what what we feel that we have to do and want to do in this country, and they just say no. We, we you know there are things we can't develop, things we can't build, things we can't harvest uh, because of the Endangered Species Act. It's broken. And we've been trying to fix it. I know when I served in Congress, there were several efforts uh, between 2001 and 2006, the time I was there, when the Idaho delegation w- was trying to change that act and make it common sense mm-hmm. instead of this bureaucratic driven per- perpetuity of their jobs. Well, and you know, I, I, I know you and I have talked about the uh, the, the wolf issue before. Um, <laughs> yeah. And. and and, and and you know I mean to me that 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 alone uh, is a, uh, a a great reason to reform the endangered species list when you have a species that is no longer endangered uh, that can't get off of the list that indicates that there's a problem but now there's a human face to this uh, and yeah. now you have an actual uh, a person a you know a a father a husband who if his if he's convicted is looking at a year behind bars for defending his kids. Could be. I mean, that's, you know, the, the, if, if you're not outraged by that, I I don't know. You're on the side of the bears, I guess. Uh, yeah, you're, you're pretty hard to get your corpuscles moved. Yeah, no stuff. kidding. If so, that doesn't uh, make you mad. So have you heard, I know it's only been a few days, but have you heard anything from uh, Ken Salazar, the Secretary of the Interior? Uh, not as yet. I haven't. And, you know, I expected it to take some time. I expected it uh, for him to have to run it through his shop. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, get down to the get down to the bottom line because, you know, uh, he is the face of of uh, the Department of Interior. But obviously, like uh, like most of us that that serve in positions in government, you can't possibly know everything that's going on all the time, even though you're going to get the the blame for anything that may go awry. But, I'm confident. I've had uh, quite a few dealings with uh, Secretary Salazar, and uh, that was one reason I felt very comfortable in writing that letter. He, he He's tried to do the right thing for a long time, including with the wolves, by the way, Kim. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, he was the first one that, uh, or he, he stepped right up after he got in and delisted. And uh, it was the folks that took us to court that didn't want to see the delisting, uh, the, and they found a, a judge that favored their argument, and uh, that's how we got. That's how we lost our wolf season. But now we're back in, and the, even the Ninth Circuit upheld our wolf uh, season, and so uh, we're going forward. In fact, we were receiving a few calls from, of course, from out of state, yeah. for the most part, uh, of folks that were concerned that we were going to be starting to shoot wolves when the season opens right away. Well, listen, uh, Governor, I, I can't thank you enough for coming on the program, sir. And I hope that uh, I hope that Mr. Hill uh, and his case is resolved favorably uh, well, uh, very soon. Cam, I, I, I thank you for the time. And listen, if there's some folks out there in, the, in your audience that are agreeing with what we're trying to do, just uh, let them know that any Wells Fargo bank and they all they have to do is say Jeremy Hill benefit account. Uh, or any Mountain West Bank or Panhandle State Bank. Uh, they'll see to it that it gets to their Bonner, uh, Bonner's Ferry uh, addresses. All right. Thank you, Governor. I appreciate your time and uh, look forward to talking to you again very soon. You bet. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, Butch Otter, the uh, governor from the great state of Idaho.